Well, you've seen him in ER as Dr. Peter Benton and in movies such as Coming to America. Now, actor, director, producer, and author Eric LaSalle is laying down the laws of annihilation. His third novel has been called A Brilliant and Bloody Cop Thriller, and he's here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Eric. Good to uh, see thanks. you. Great. Great to be here. So, listen, this is the third book third one. in your series. They all came out so close together, but tell us where this book picks up. This one, uh, there are three protagonists. We have two New York City detectives that's partners, but they team up with a uh, female uh, FBI agent. So each book sort of centers on one of the protagonists. This book centers on this female FBI agent who's just been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Oh. And she gets one of the biggest cases of of her career and so it's that push and pull so we follow her story um, through it's a lot of uh, hate crimes etc so uh, we follow her through it and she takes her she's 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 our, our our point of view so yeah. yeah and where did this idea come from um because well, the, the first books were written a, a while ago the but. first yeah each book like i said ex explores a different character um of the, of the three and so i did one with the one cop, the second one with the second cop, and then I just thought this was an organic story of yeah. you know, what's what's happening in the world and making it um, you know something that's relevant, um, and so just kind of taking the headlines and drawing it together. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one came out less than a year ago. The second one came out in May. So this one just six months. So six. We've been doing sort of yeah, so six months. Are you done with the next one? I'm. I'm actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty much. Oh, there. really? Yes, I am. I'm getting ready to start the fifth one. Oh my uh, God! Well, you, could, you know, I, the thing, the cool thing about writing is, you never. The torturous thing and the cool thing is, you, you're never really done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's great to have them for a while, and then it's just like I leave this show and I go, wow, I got inspired. I go and I <laughs> yeah. tweak something. But if you, you know, so, um, so I like having them done, letting them rest for a while, and then you know, adding some seasoning to it. So, yeah. Uh, so I, yeah so. I, I think a lot of people didn't know that you were a writer before you were an actor, right? right. Yeah, well, I started, you know, as a kid. I mean, I, you know, uh, as, as a kid, my passion was writing. Yeah. Uh, and then um, I tried to write a play for my drama club uh, in high tried. school. And they were like, no, we need you to act. So once I got the <laughs> yeah. acting bug, then, I, then you know. Well, so, listen, you know, it's good that you had a nice backup plan for yeah. that. So that, so that, you know, after that, me, and then, then I got back into it when I started directing and writing yeah. short films yeah. and things to direct. So it, it, it's interesting how the universe brings you back to where you Absolutely. need to be. Absolutely. Yeah. So can we see this maybe turning into a movie or a series? Oh, that's definitely the goal. Yeah, definitely, right? Yeah. No, that's how it, they were written. They're very cinematic, yeah. um, obviously, with, you know, my point of view. Uh, and the passion of what I'm doing right now. So yeah, the, the idea is to uh, write the screenplay, produce it, direct it. I don't need to act. I was going to say, are you going to star that. in it? But no. like, you must be when you're writing these things. You, as an actor, producer, director, all that you do, are you thinking about who's playing these already oh, in your yeah. head? Like, are you yeah. picturing people? Yeah. Can you share who you'd yeah. like? No. You, no, you <laughs> know why? So. You know why? Because if you don't get them, then, <laughs> then the then other actor is going to be like, oh, I'm your no, second you're choice. Right. You're <laughs> so right. I'm going to be diplomatic here and. And, and say no, but yeah, I mean, I act out a lot of things. Sometimes it's kind of my writing process is weird because my assistant will walk by and kind of see me talking to myself or whatever. But I'm acting things <laughs> yeah, yeah. out. Um, so it I, helps. You know, I come from that that point of view. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've got definitely I write with certain actors and actresses in mind. Probably helps um, it form a story. Really, yeah. But you're also co-executive producing and starring in the next Dick Wolf show called yeah. On Call. What can you tell us about it? Uh, it's really cool. It's his first uh, foray into uh, streaming. Oh. So it's, yeah, so uh, it's going to be on Amazon. And, um, and it's a throwback to, a lot of people don't understand this, but dramas used to be a half hour. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. And so there was a show back in the day called Adam 12 uh, about oh, these two, two street cops that uh, used to just... You remember that? We're getting yeah, them. We got it. We're getting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people. Right here. But it's basically two two cops, and all the calls that they answer, and, and one cop has been killed uh, in a very opening scene. So it's really tense. It's really cool. And so I direct. Um, we're only using two directors. Nice. Uh, so I, I direct half of the episodes. I uh, directed the pilot, uh, and then I decided to act in it as well. So Why not? Um, yeah, so I'm directing, executive producing, and starring in it. It's a really, really cool show. And uh, you know, I mean, look, Dick Wolf is is the best in the game. At, he really you know, is. Of, of, of he really is. So. Yeah, and you've worked together before, so I'm glad to see you guys working together again. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, Laws of Annihilation is out now, so get a copy anywhere books are sold, and catch Eric at a meet and greet tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Grand Central Human.
Thanks so much, Eric. Good to oh, see you. Thank you. It was awesome. Keep Thanks on for having writing. me.